this is the last phase because the training camps are opening in two weeks. So true to summer, we built power, speed, and speed endurance. So that's why today he had to do 10 to 20 second burst with the ratio of 20, 30 second rest and recreate that for a certain amount of time. Hockey is an interval game and you, you burst, you relax, you burst, you relax. So we kind of reproduce the same energy system here in the gym. The, the weight training and the strength training is one part, but we're doing also stuff on the ice with his goalie coach. What we did here today is something that we're going to bring on the ice so that after that he's going to be able to do it during the games. Right now, you know, being in uh, late late August, uh, beginning of September, you know, we're really focusing on trying to get your legs ready, the timing ready for uh, for the beginning of the season coming up. And uh, I got two more weeks uh, to work here on the ice. So I've been working out at the gym for two, three months and put what I did at the gym to use on the ice and try to just, right now, it's a lot of leg work, it's a lot of... Uh, Uh, finding my foot speed and stuff like that. Well, the, the old adage back in the day was just simply stop the puck. Nowadays, the way that the game moves, it's so quick that a good goaltender has to be a strong goalie off the ice. You're playing at the highest level, like JS is in the NHL. You need to be quick left to right, uh, up and down, uh, in and out. It's incredibly important that you're fit, not only from the start of the position at the start of the game, but to the end of the game as well. Initially, when we get on the ice, we always do what we call footwork drills. So fundamentally, we work out our work on his footwork. So we would work on his lateral movement, whether it's push and stop, uh, moving across the lane with a T-push. We try to build good habits in all that he does. We're always working on the same things. Push and stop, get set for the shot, get in the lane. I started going to the gym, and, and uh, but I wasn't very serious about it, and I got traded to the Anaheim Ducks, started working with the goalie coach there, Francois Allaire, and uh, he had a meeting with me, and he was like, you know, you, you should really invest in, in a, a personal coach. You know, I think this is what's missing in your game. Right away, I went to seek uh, Stéphane Zubé, And, and it changed my whole game around. You know, I you know went a step above what I was, and it really helped me uh, being the goalie I am today. I feel privileged to work with uh, with JS. He's been working out with me for 10 years. The guy has been in the NHL, won a Stanley Cup, won a Connie Smythe. He came here and said, you know what, Steph, we're going to go a step above, step it up a notch. And I have younger guys, junior guys that are hanging out with us because they were training with me. And they're seeing a guy, went through it, is in the NHL, has success in the NHL, and the juniors are looking at, wow, and the kids are coming to me. Now I know what working out and working really hard is. You know, he's one of the probably the hardest working athletes that you know on and off the ice. And he's got a work ethic that just not too many guys can beat. Uh, if you look at the players, players don't have that same work ethic. And he has a focus. His job every single day is to keep the puck out of the back of the net. And at the end of the day, five forwards can make a mistake. He's the guy that's got to bail the team out. He realizes that and uh, does the work that's necessary to make that job possible.